respected president of this function dr anand jacob vargis dear dr gobind nayagam former executive director of national institute of indian energy <coughs> dr ani jacob director of this esteemed institution and the principal of this college dr deva sundari dear faculty members and dignitaries of the dais students from uh, various schools and students of this college i am very happy to be here with all of you in this wonderful occasion and uh, i am very happy that center of artificial artificial intelligence is being inaugurated today really it gives me immense pleasure because i have heard lot about this uh, institution that is kcg college of technology and also the group of colleges which belong to the hindustan group of colleges and i am very happy to note that we are very proud of we being tamil people wherever we go you know they say that tamil nadu has very good uh, education institutions it is a good strength in our part in the last week also i went to delhi and i met few central ministers and everyone starts with the strength of the colleges we have in tamil nadu and really i am very happy that uh, this college the kcg college of technology is contributing much to our state and uh, i am very happy to note that the college has very good performance in various sectors and you have taking lot of efforts to motivate the students to encourage the students to connect with them with the industry and all these things and uh, i'm happy to note that you are working in close coordination with the government projects too that's also a good uh, thing that you are doing nowadays you know when wherever we go there are two things we can see one is unemployment problem everywhere we go you know people say that we need employment every year tamil nadu is producing nearly 4.5 lakh engineers that is our strength so many education institutions are there in tamil nadu but on the other hand we have lot of unemployed youths who are trying their level best to get a job after me becoming the minister for information technology i started interacting with the academia i started interacting with the students i had lot of interactions with the industry the industry is telling we need lot of talented human resources they say we have lot of talented human resources at the global level at the national level and at the state level but there are too many students who are trying to get a job why is this gap that we say that is a there is a gap in the employability skills because technology is changing in a very fast way so we need to reskill we need to upskill we need to find out find out what is the future skill and we need to train our people accordingly so education institutions have to play a vital role a major role to provide the required talented skill to the future industry that's one very big challenge that we need to face so that only the it department of tamil nadu have decided to strengthen this interaction between the industry government 
and the academia to fill this gap. And it is going to be a very strong strength of uh, Tamil Nadu because we will be able to supply talent and human resource to the globe. That much education institutions we have. So I hope in the coming days the government and uh, along with the academia and the industry we will do better things to the people of Tamil Nadu. The second thing I am seeing the creativity of our children. Really it is amazing. Wherever I go, you know, I, whenever I see some exhibition kind of thing and people, the students, the very young minds, when they come up with this lot of creative ideas and creative um, what we say inventions. We don't know how to appreciate them. That much is their strength. So, the present generation, they have very good ideas. They come up with a lot of innovations. They come out with solutions. And on the other side, you know, <coughs> you take, for example, any department. Whether the services are delivered to the people as they expect. No. And wherever we go, you know, the people expect the services to be delivered to them in a better and easier way. So, each department has a lot of problems. And the other side, we have technology for finding solutions to all these things. So, the Honorable Minister has um, advised us, the IT department, to work horizontally with all other departments. As he rightly pointed out, our chairman, the information technology is embedded with all other uh, technologies. For everything, the, we need technology. And AI is going to play a vital role. Data science is going to play a vital role. IoT, VR, robotics, everything. So there should be some kind of coordination. So the Honorable CM has requested us to work horizontally with all other departments and we are, for the first time, we are trying that. And we have conducted few meetings with the higher education department as well as skill development department. And we are working with all other departments to bring in some changes. In Tamil Nadu, you know, previously all the government offices, if you go and see, the computers just replaced a typewriter. Not anything more. But now it is not going to be the case. Because under the leadership of our Honorable CM, we are going to digitalize the entire departments and their services. The work has been started and few de departments have been totally digitalized now in the secretariat level. And we are taking it to the district level in the coming days. That is one thing. The sec another thing is about the connectivity. In Tamil Nadu, we are facing a lot of problems. So that is going to be dealt by the government. The Tanfinet, a department under the IT department, we have rolled out the Tanfinet project. That is giving connectivity to all the 12,525 village panjais of Tamil Nadu. So there will not be any connectivity problem in the entire state after this program is completed. And I hope we will complete it within a year. Similarly, we are trying to bring in a lot of investments. After this assembly session is over, I have plans to go to UK to meet investors and to meet Tamil entrepreneurs who are very successful there and also to the states. We as a team, we are planning to go to bring in investors to Tamil Nadu. And hand in hand, we, are, we have declared, a, we have announced a project called ITNT Hub, that is Tamil Nadu uh, um, 
TND hub that is announced by the IT department and is going to function in the campus of Anna University that is going to be inaugurated very soon by the Honorable CM. We have an academy called ICT Academy. Through that, we have, when I came here, I was very happy to note that KCG is also uh, doing a lot of program, programs in association with the ICT Academy. This year, we are going to uh, provide our services in a better way. And we have made a full assessment of what happened in the past. And we are filling the gaps. And we are interacting with eminent people from NASCAM industry as well as from academia to bring out a proper plan uh, to provide a PAKKA training facility to all the students who require training in Tamil Nadu. And I hope this year we are planning to cover at least one lakh students this year through member colleges. So, so that is another trial we are making. So anyway, my advice to the students, the students on the can anyone, everyone can understand me now, students? Yella divert it again. Whatever advice. You should find out one day or Ulatur or Thakar or intuition. I should become this thing, this thing in the future. That's why you find out. Before you finish 12th standard and before you join somewhere, you destiny is the one that you choose. Unfortunately, unfortunately, our education system is mostly parents are a target oriented. You are a doctor. You are a fixed person. It's a failure. You should not be like that. Sir, you are a field. Wherever you go in Tamil Nadu, you see, you ask any student, he or she will say, I want to become a doctor. And if you ask again, for what? They may not be having an answer. Except saying that my father and mother wants to, me to become a doctor. So, you, this is a sad thing. Nalla good scope is there. He was talking about renewable, renewable energy. The governments all over the world, they are going and signing so many treaties, MOUs and everything they are doing, agreements and all, with regard to carbon offshoot, sustainable development goals and so many other things. So what next we are going to do? We have signed the treaty on uh, carbon option, I think. We have to bring down. And we have to survey. The existence of the world is under question, under threat. But today, I think when I was in the assembly, I was just going through a message and somebody sent me a message. It states that some scientific uh, team has uh, come up with an, uh, a finding that Within another nine years, 40% of Tamil Nadu's coastal villages will be in the sea. So what kind of threat we are facing? Because we are polluting the space like anything. So we need to think in the other way. Why I'm telling this, there is a very good scope for solar energy, wind energy, and all other kinds of renewable energy. Anyway, technology is going to be the thing that is going to dictate our day-to-day -day life. It has started. So there is a good scope for students in all these fields. And there is no second thought in that. I really appreciate the students who have come and participated in the uh, program. And I really congratulate the people who win the awards. And uh, People who don't get an award or certificate don't worry about all those things. This is just a motivation. That's all. If you don't get also, you can <laughs> adjust so many things in your life.
So, wish you all the best. I would again thank this KCG College for inviting me and giving me an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.